Hey guys, welcome to another fanfic. This is going to be a remastered version of my first fanfic on the channel. What if Fives successfully exposed Order 66? What if things went differently that didn't result in his death? For the OG subscribers, you'll remember that was my first Star Wars video on the channel. Aside from exposing the stupendous waves, Force FX lightsaber giveaway scam. He's actually got worse since then, especially with recycling old videos and just assumes that nobody notices. But we're not here to talk about that fraud. <laughs> Since this fanfic is a remastered version of the old one, you'll notice that my audio quality has improved much since I started doing Star Wars content back in 2018. I'll also put additional things in this fanfic to make it much more interesting. Before we get started, I wanted to say one more thing. For those who don't know, my Star Wars fan film, The Fallen Apprentice, is still in post-production. If you want to support the film, and speed things up to see a trailer by December, consider becoming a join member today. For only $2.99 a month, you'll get some amazing perks with it, like discounted merch, early access to videos, and more. Anyway, let's begin. After leaving the clone bar to meet up with Anakin Skywalker and Captain Rex at a warehouse, Fives would arrive at the entrance. He was a bit tipsy because, as I said, he was just at a clone bar called 79s. Before proceeding inside, he would hear a probe droid nearby. He would take the thermal detonator on his belt and throw it at the droid. The droid would be destroyed before it can transmit his location. To Fives' surprise, both Anakin and Rex appeared at his requested meeting spot. Fearing that Neaver would listen to his story, he trapped both in a ray shield. Agitated by his experience and by Dr. Nalase's drugging, Fives' attempt to explain his actions and discoveries proved incoherent. If you remember, Palpatine requested to speak to the soldier alone to hear what he discovered in further detail. After Shakti and Nalase left, Palpatine revealed the true purpose of the biochips to Fives as well as his involvement in the plot basically told him the script of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. He then attacked Fives, who in a moment of self-defense, was framed as a potential assassin. Fives would reveal to Anakin and Rex that Palpatine orchestrated much of the deception and he's the mastermind behind the entire plot. We all know that Anakin views Palpatine as a mentor, a friend, and ultimately a grandfather. So this would infuriate him. We know how far Anakin is willing to go to protect Palpatine, but Fives has enough proof. Anakin would promise Fives that they would all travel to the Jedi Temple to do an investigation of their own, and no harm would come Fives' way. Fives would hesitate, but he agrees. He had to do this. He would release Anakin and Rex, and they would all head to the Jedi Temple. Anakin would request an emergency meeting of the Jedi Council. Fives explains the details of his investigation with Anakin and Rex backing his claims. As Fives is spilling the beans, Palpatine would sense all of this back in his office, with Commander Fox and the Coruscant Guard behind him. He knew he didn't have much time before the Jedi discovered the truth about the plot involving the clones. He looked at the clones and said, The time comes tonight to execute Order 66. Palpatine's full plan can no longer be executed, but enough steps are already in motion. Rex would be in the medical bay to remove his chip, so the Jedi can conduct their own internal investigation. As his chip was being removed, Mace Windu and his team would arrive at Palpatine's office to arrest him. It would go the same way as it did in Revenge of the Sith. However, Mace Windu would eventually escape and return to the temple. He would contact Anakin and the others to let them know that Palpatine is indeed the Sith Lord. As Windu returns, the temple would ready its defenses. Rex would awaken after his chip removal. The analysis of Rex's chip points to it being a direct link of Tups' murder of General Tiplar back on Ringo Vinda. 
As this revelation reveals itself, clone troopers from the Coruscant Guard stormed the temple, ready to extinguish the Jedi inside. Anakin, Obi-Wan, Yoda, Mace, and Syndralic would be the main Jedi leading the defense against the clones. Rex and Fibes would defend the younglings with Jocasta Nu alongside two temple guards. The Jedi valiantly defend the attack on the temple. Many knights and padawans had fallen during the siege, but the main defenders survived the relentless waves of clone assaults. Anakin would be in utter shock as he saw the man leading the attack, Palpatine himself. We need to keep in mind that Anakin is not as close to falling to the dark side as he was in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. He isn't having nightmares about Padme dying in childbirth, and he's still a believer in the Jedi. Sure, he had his doubts, especially with how Ahsoka was treated in the bombing of the temple, but Palpatine has not had enough time to coax him. Ah, uh, young Skywalker. How much grander and more powerful you could still become. You could have been by my side, but no. You are in fact a Jedi. Anakin would tap into his rage briefly, as Palpatine's laughter echoed through the halls of the temple. After the Coruscant Guard was defeated, a four-on-one lightsaber duel would begin. Mace, Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Yoda against Sidious. Even four-on-one, Sidious would rival the Jedi in lightsaber combat alone and with the Force. He shoots a ferocious blast of lightning at Yoda, rendering him unconscious for a short period of time. That would leave Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Mace to work in tandem to fight Palpatine. Sidious uses Anakin's rage against him by pushing him to the side. He uses the brief second to stab Obi-Wan in the chest. Anakin watches in horror as Obi-Wan's life slowly fades away as his body falls to the ground. Anakin would lose it and attack Sidious head on. His eyes were a bright yellow, filled with glistening emotion. Anakin's mind enveloped with anger. Mace Windu dashes to aid Anakin, helping him to control his emotions and use them for the light. Yoda awakes and rejoins the duel. Together, the Jedi disarm Sidious, dropping him to his knees. Yoda would implore Anakin not to strike the killing blow. But Windu, on the other hand, would encourage Anakin to strike him down by telling him he's too dangerous to be left alive. Anakin would listen to Mace and raise his lightsaber, ready to strike. Sidious would taunt Anakin before he strikes by saying, Pathetic boy, you could not muster the strength to kill me. Anakin looks at the body of Obi-Wan and then he raised his weapon and beheads the Sith Lord, ending his reign for good. The rest of the Jedi in the temple that survived would work with the Senate and the Kaminoans to begin an inoculation for every clone in the Grand Army by removing their chips and restoring them back to their normal state. A funeral is held for the Jedi who fell at the temple. The others would be called back from the front lines to discuss things going forward. Sly Moore and Masamita would be imprisoned for their collaboration with Palpatine. Mon Mothma would be elected as the new Supreme Chancellor and would award the highest honor of the Republic to both Rex and Fives for their service to the Republic, the Chancellor's Service Medal. All the clones in the army would also be given a choice. They can either remain in service or peacefully retire. Anakin is granted the rank of master, and Windu would personally teach him the form of Vapad in order to leverage his emotions in combat. Anakin's marriage would be approved by the Jedi Council as a special favor because of his heroic actions to defend the temple. Once Padme had their children, they would be raised by Anakin and Padme on Naboo. As far as the Separatists, they would surrender to the Republic. When it comes to Dooku, he would confess that he only joined Palpatine only to destroy him when the time came. Dooku also added that the Jedi needed to change their ways as well. 
but that's a topic that he and Yoda would discuss another time. Grievous would refuse to surrender and disappear somewhere into the unknown regions. As the Jedi would fix their huge flaws, Ahsoka Tano would return to the temple and be reinstated as a Jedi. In the future, Luke and Leia would be trained at the Jedi Temple by their father as the spirit of Obi-Wan is watching over them. Ahsoka would also be involved in Luke and Leia's training. They would be the most powerful Jedi in the Order. The galaxy would be at peace until the next thread emerges from the shadows. I really hope that you've enjoyed this remastered version of my first fanfic. Of course, if you want a part 2, we can continue because somehow Palpatine would return, right? It's just a shame how Fives came so close in the Clone Wars to saving the Jedi and the Republic. He was one of my favorite clone troopers. I do hope that Rex tells Echo about Fives' fate in Season 2 of The Bad Batch. Anyways, tell me your thoughts about the fanfic in the comments below. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and consider joining our membership today for exclusive perks like early access to videos, shoutouts, and more. Have a great day, and may the Force be with you.